In today's video, I'll be creating the ultimate multi-boot USB drive, packed with multiple operating systems and essential utility tools. This powerful all-in-one USB is something every PC user should have, as it allows you to install any operating system, troubleshoot and fix a wide range of PC issues, run various antivirus tools to detect and remove malware, viruses and hacker threats, perform data recovery and password resets for Windows, and also access many other utilities to manage and repair your system. This multi-boot USB will be an essential toolkit for any tech enthusiast or every everyday user looking for a reliable way to maintain and troubleshoot their computer. That's exactly what we'll be discussing and setting up in this video. But before we begin, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Alright, before we proceed, it's important that you should have a USB drive with at least 32 gigabytes of storage. The larger the storage capacity, the more operating systems and utility tools you can include on your multi-boot USB drive. First, connect your USB drive to your PC or laptop. Then, head over to the Ventoy official website and navigate to the download section. Click on the Ventoy 1.1 for Windows.zip file to start the download. This will redirect you to SourceForge, where you need to click on Download Latest Version to begin the download process. If it does not start downloading, then click on Problem Downloading button and click Please use this direct link option and will definitely start downloading. The file size is approximately 15.9 megabytes, so it should download quickly. Once it is downloaded, open the folder where the file is saved. Right click on the ventoy.zip file and select Extract All. Choose a destination for extraction and click Extract. Once extracted, open the newly created Ventoy folder. Locate ventoy2disk.exe. Right click on it and select Open. When the Ventoy 2 disk window opens, it will automatically detect your USB drive. If multiple USB drives are connected, click the drop down menu and carefully select the correct USB drive. In this case, my Kingston 64GB USB drive is selected because I have only one USB drive connected to my computer. Now click on the install button to proceed. This process will format the USB drive and erase all data, so ensure you have backed up any important files before proceeding. Click yes to confirm the installation. Click yes again to finalize the process. The installation will begin and within a few seconds you will see a message. Congratulations! Ventoy has been successfully installed on the device. Click OK and then close the setup window and your multi-bootable USB drive is now ready for use. Now, let's open File Explorer. As you can see, my Kingston 60GB USB drive has been successfully formatted and converted into Ventoy. When I click on it, the drive is currently empty, which means we're now ready to start adding various ISO files and utility tools to this bootable USB. In the next step, you'll need to download the ISO files for the operating systems and tools you want to include in this Ventoy USB drive. I highly recommend starting by downloading Windows 10 ISO file first. I will provide all the website link in my video description. You can then use the media creation tool to download the Windows 10 ISO file. Once that's done, the next step is to download the Windows 11 ISO file. To do this, visit the official Microsoft Windows 11 ISO download page and download the file directly. Follow these steps, choose your preferred language, then proceed to download the ISO file. Next, if you want to download Arch Linux, visit its official website. Scroll down to the Worldwide section where you can choose a mirror download from the nearest location for faster speeds. Alternatively, you can click on the first GeoMirror link for downloading. Once on the mirror page, simply download the latest version of Arch Linux. Next, we'll be using the highly popular utility software Hirons Boot CD, which provides a comprehensive set of tools for various system maintenance tasks. This powerful toolkit includes utilities for data recovery, troubleshooting blue screen errors, diagnosing system issues, and even resetting Windows 10 or 11. Scroll down and download the ISO file. 
Next, we'll be using Tails OS, a portable operating system designed for secure and private browsing without leaving any traces. To download it, select the Windows option, scroll down and click on Download Tails USB image. The file size is approximately 1.5 gigabytes. Next, we will be downloading Kaspersky Rescue Disk Image ISO. It is a powerful tool that helps you remove viruses, malware, trojans, and even fix hacking-related issues. Alternatively, you can choose the ESET Rescue Disk. The choice is yours. In this case, I'll be downloading Kaspersky Rescue Disk. To do so, simply visit the website, click on the download button, and the ISO file will begin downloading automatically. You can also add Medicat USB, another powerful tool for your Ventor USB. It comes with a variety of troubleshooting utilities and system repair tools, making it useful for handling different PC issues and diagnostics. If you'd like to include Medicat, you can download and add it as well. For this tutorial, I'm only selecting a few essential ISO images. However, if you need additional recommendations or have specific requirements, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll be happy to suggest more ISO options. Once you have downloaded all the ISO files, the next step is to transfer them to your Ventoy USB drive. I'll select all the ISO files, copy them, and then go to your Ventoy USB drive, then paste them directly into the Ventoy USB drive. Since these files are quite large, the transfer process will take some time, so we'll wait until the process is complete. Now that the transfer is complete, we have successfully added several ISO files to our Ventoy USB. If you'd like to include additional ones, feel free to add them now. With everything set up, we're now ready for the final step. We need to connect the Ventoy USB to a computer. Now I'll restart the system to boot from the Ventoy USB. To do this, restart the computer, and depending on your system's manufacturer, you'll need to press a specific BIOS key to enter the BIOS menu and adjust the boot priority order. Since I'm using a virtual machine, I'm seeing this interface where I need to select the USB device as the boot option. Keep in mind that depending on the PC or laptop you're using, the interface might look slightly different, but the process is the same. Boot from the connected USB device. Additionally, in your BIOS settings, make sure to disable secure boot. Sometimes, multi-boot USBs may not work correctly if secure boot is enabled, so it's important to turn it off for this to work properly. Now that we've booted into the Ventoy dashboard, you can see all the ISOs that are available for use. With this Ventoy USB, you have a wide range of options at your fingertips. You can choose to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, or you can use Arch Linux or the Tails OS, which is a plug-and-play operating system for secure browsing. This multi-boot USB also allows you to perform various tasks, such as virus removal and malware cleaning using the Kaspersky Rescue Disk, along with Hiron's Boot CD for troubleshooting and system repair. This USB has it all. If you have a USB with 32GB or 64GB of storage, I highly recommend creating this ultimate all-in-one USB tool. It will be valuable for various situations in the future. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.